Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today we're going to make the simplest chocolate chip muffins in the world. To make this dish we're going to need 100 grams of chocolate chips, 25 grams of cocoa powder, 75 mils of oil, 110 grams of sugar, 150 mils of milk, and 150 grams of self-raising flour. Now what makes these chocolate chip muffins so simple is that it's just an all-in-one method. Everything goes in a bowl together, get mixed up, that's the end. Now, whereas with many cake tart recipes, you have to cream the fat and the sugar, so you'd have either a butter or margarine that you mix in with the sugar and you have to beat it separately then slowly adding this and slowly adding that. This one we don't use any butter we're using oil and it's just all together all in one so let's do it. Let's not get too carried away. In we go. For this one I'm using wholemeal flour just a little bit of added, added fiber, sugar, our oil, cocoa powder, milk, and one egg. Now we could make this a vegan version. Instead of using egg, we could use aquafaba. I'm actually using soy milk as well and dark chocolate. So it wouldn't take much to turn this dessert into a vegan dish. But for now, I'm just gonna use an egg. All ingredients in. Now, we just mix. Final part is just to add some chocolate chips. I've got some dark chocolate here. You can use whatever you want. Now into this mixture, if you wanted to make a variation, you could add some nuts. I would have wished I had some nuts actually, because that would have gone really nice in here. You could add some nuts or some raisins or some seeds or whatever else you like. We, can, we could make it healthier by adding a bit more bran or a bit more fiber or anything you like. This is the basic cake mixture. So for this one though, all I'm gonna do is add in some chocolate chips. About 100 grams, use more or less. I'm going to use about 50 grams. Save this for another, maybe save for another recipe. Quick mix through and we're done. Okay. Okay, we're back. All we're going to do now is fill up our muffin tins and get, get them in the oven. I've got two different colours here because I'm going to do a little bit of ex experimenting. I'm going to fill the first one and I'm going to add a special ingredient to the second batch. So here we go. A tip, if you use a spoon and a knife, try and make sure that we add the ingredients directly into the centre of our cupcake cases. Go a bit in each one, and then once you've done that, you can go around that a bit more. The key thing is, try and make sure they're all the same size. If you have a situation where some spills out on the edge, just kind of wipe that off. If that's not wiped, then when it's baking in the oven, those kind of back bits will just burn. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these so they have about the same amount in each one. Try not to overfill because they will rise in the oven. Now that's my first batch. For my second batch I'm going to try adding another ingredient. Um, I recently came across a, an amazing company and there's a variety of flavorings online. Uh, they make their own uh, vegan flavorings and they have all different kinds of essences and I'm gonna be looking to feature them a lot on the show as we go forward. So every opportunity again, I'm gonna try something a little bit new. Here I've got uh, in companies called Special Ingredients and these are called, uh, this is mint flavored essence. So I'm gonna go and add a little, a few drops in this so we get like some chocolate mint flavored uh, muffins. So I'm gonna put a few drops of this in. 
Uh, the link to where, you, to where you can get hold of this kind of stuff I'll put in the information below. But um, it will kind of give it a little bit of a, an after eight flavour because you have dark chocolate with some, with some mint going in. Then I'll overpower it and I'll put two squirts in and at the end we'll see um, what that tastes like. Give that a bit of a mix through. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the other side. All done. My aim was to try and make sure each one was filled to about the same level. That's quite important when baking because if one is filled more than the other, then while one is cooking, the other one could be burning. So it's important that if they're all the same, filled to the same level, they'll all cook at the same rate. So when we check one and it's done, they'll all be done. So pop this in the oven and come back in 20 minutes. Okay, our 20 minutes are up. So I'm gonna take them out of the oven and try to see if they are done. Now there's a couple of ways we can check to see if they're done. One way is we can put a skewer in. This comes out pretty clean, that's a good way of checking. Another way is we can prod them. Now there are usually three ways to check if, if these are if uh, cupcakes or cakes are cooked. One is gonna be color, but because these are already brown, we can't check for a golden brown because they're already brown, so it's difficult to check. So we need to go to method two, which is a skewer. Skewer comes out clean, make sure you're getting the cake mixture and not the actual chocolate because chocolate's still going to be a little bit wet. And then we can prod them. If they've got a nice bit of spring, which these have, then we're done. And they're out. Nicely cooked all the way through, quite soft. This is one of the ones with that, that had the mint in. Really quite aromatic. I think I'll try this one first. If we open it up, just break it open, take one through the camera. Really nice and soft inside. Really quite nice and soft. Just a bit. Mmm. Lovely. Really nice and light. Subtle flavour of the mint coming through. I think I put in just about the right amount. All in one method, fantastic. No separate cream or anything like that. All together, nice and light. Oh, really, really good. Really simple, easy to make recipe. It's got all the ingredients, put it all together. What could be simpler? Open a mouthful. Mmm, it's really good. And there we have it. Delicious, super, super easy chocolate chip muffins. So once again, thanks for joining me at Food Tech 101. Food Tech 101 is now also available on Facebook and Instagram, so you can check us out there. And we're also available via email at admin at foodtech101.co.uk. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My name is Mr. Lionbird, but you can call me Sir. Of things we know.